We have been talking about the surge in gasoline prices worldwide following the invasion of Ukraine last month, which set records here in the U.S. But today, it appears there is some sign of improvement. According to AAA, today's national average is down seven whole cents from last week. The average here in the Buffalo Niagara region down almost four cents from last week, more than 60 cents though from a month ago and a dollar 60 from a year ago. That just shows, although prices are dropping penny by penny, drivers are still paying a lot more than normal, which means those who have already made changes because of those high gas prices will likely continue to do so. But what is the breaking point here? Reporter Chloe Leshner has that part of the story. Work, school, or the grocery store. For most people, it's hard to avoid getting in the car every day. With the cost of gas slowly coming down from a record high, when do people say enough is enough? People's consumption of gas does not change as prices increase as much as we think we would. And there are a few reasons why this is understandable. The type of car that people drive and their distance to work are factors that they can't change in the short term. For some, that means picking and choosing where they're able to go on their tank of gas. So now I am going to be able to just work and come home. That's it. Instead of, you know, running errands like I usually do. Some economic experts think we have already hit the peak and likely won't see prices get much higher. But the damage may already be done. We saw $4 a gallon uh, gasoline back in 2008, and back then people were really starting to change their habits in, in a significant way. Uh, so I, I really think we've witnessed that, right? Gasoline prices have gone up so fast uh, that, you know, it's gone up uh, more than 50% since, uh, since this time last year. If this doesn't change people's behavior in a relative hurry, then I don't think anything else will.